bad this person. This is crazy, beautiful day. The best day. December 10th, 2021. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome back to Faith and Familia. Things are getting good. Things are getting good, but like 11 is our favorite number in the world. But this was the most excruciating, painful... 11 days. 11 days of, of our waiting. Life. Of the wait. Tom Petty said it best in a song. The waiting is the hardest part. Getting to this point was, and even being able to wait. And it's so weird because I really was obsessed with that song, Wait on the Lord. Wait the Dante the book. Lord. Yeah. I would literally listen to Wait on the Lord. Like that was my that was my song for those 11 days. When I tell you like weep, this is like next level weeping because I was like, I'm actually, I'm in the waiting. Mm. And, and genuinely as hard as it was for me to say in that waiting process of 11 days to find out if we were pregnant, my prayer was a prayer of surrender, just like God. I want your will to be done. That was really hard for me to say because for the last four years, I'm like, nah, fam, come on. I want my, my, my will, will to be done, yeah. My will is we having this baby. It was really hard, but I just remember changing my posture and I, I feel like God was pleased mm. with that. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think I think even referencing that song, I remember the little spontaneous moment they do at the, the end, like worship while you wait. Like, yes. that's what happens when you wait. When you wait on the Lord, you're going to renew your strength. You're going to soar like eagles. Yeah. But in the waiting, instead of complaining, instead of worrying in the worship wait. Worship while you wait. Worship while you wait. And I think once we kind of really got that understanding, yeah. it made the days a bit easier. For it sure. was so it was, hard. It was difficult. I was, again, like I had two weeks of filming Raven's Home back to back. I would manifest that I had a child and I would actually speak out loud. Oh yeah, my baby is this, my baby is that. And I'd be like, no, my baby, like the baby's super chill. The baby is very, like saying out loud, playing pretend that I was having a conversation with people and being like, my baby is the most active baby. And just my baby's so funny and so sweet and my baby is I, that sounds really weird right no it's you know like literally manifesting and saying out loud what i imagine this yeah. child to be like whose personality right. does the, like i literally was manifesting it out loud so the day of implantation they actually take a picture and um, the, the best part is they initially gave it to our surrogate and she handed it and goes, oh no, it's not my baby. These photos are for her, this is her baby. Mm -hmm. And I just remember being like- This is happening. This is happening, but at the same time appreciating how special she made the moment for me. Yeah, That's just such a blessing because I didn't know it could be that way. I didn't know that it wouldn't feel awkward. And it was strange because I expected this super awkward, like uncomfortable thing. Like this was such a sacred, precious moment to me, yet I had this other person there in the room. Absolutely. And it was not that way. I didn't know it could not be awkward. I didn't know it would still feel so precious and so significant and so personal. And that's what I wanted to say earlier. I think, again, I, I'm always so impressed with the way you never stopped declaring that and dreaming that and manifesting that all those times you know expectation and the 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 disappointment but every time including this time like you said on on set you're back there still in that I same pace, energy yeah pace in the back i would think about christmas was coming up um we were going to find out december 11th all i could think about was well, I'm already gonna start planning. I'm gonna start planning how to tell the family for Christmas. And you gotta remember, like, even what we just discovered in the last episode together, like, oh wait, God has provided. Like, we realized that we lost our two girls and then we look up and do the math and realize we 
He gave us we back what two, we lost. Yeah. So we were, it was, we were able to be confident in the waiting. Like exactly. God is absolutely going to come through. 100%. Like, I know that I know that I know that God has placed this desire in my heart and it's there for a reason and I feel this way and I wake up every day, eat, sleep, and breathe the idea of motherhood. I know that I'm going to become a mother. The question for me was just when. It was waiting on God's perfect timing. My surrogate went to go do her blood tests. I was actually on set at Raven's home on the Disney lot. And the doctor said, hey, we'll probably know something by about three. By about three. So I, crazy enough, had this huge break, break for the yeah. day. And lunch was during that time and they were shooting other scenes. And I told Israel, please come to the set and like, let's find out together. So we sat in the car and... <laughs> so the news is... We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We're pregnant. We just, are pregnant. Thank you, Jesus. And crazy enough, I guess there's a certain level that your numbers should be at. The numbers that, mm. sadly, I, I didn't reach our second time around implanting. But And then every time they tested her in the following weeks, greater it kept and greater being and above greater, that. Yeah. Dr. D was like, these numbers are phenomenal. I almost, like, <laughs> I wanted to pass out. I literally wanted to pass out. Lana, are you ready for me to tell you what you didn't know? I didn't tell even, I said, I have to, I have to be honest. I never did the pee stick with myself. I honestly felt like, please let me know first so that I can either grieve on my own mm -hmm. and then present the information to you guys. Wait, I have to tell you, are you so mad? It was just the day before. I was, okay, so after implantation, you sent everybody on the journey with you, me, your mom, Claude, mm -hmm. Dr. D and the surrogate flowers, saying thank you for being on this journey. You wrote us all a beautiful note. Everyone's was different. Yeah, I mm -hmm. So I wrote like different things. Yeah, no, it was not a copy and paste. I literally wrote to you like from my heart. Yeah. I feel like had it been not, I probably would have had my moment and, and then, then told you. you guys, I couldn't tell you guys anything. I needed the reassurance of the blood test mm -hmm. because the P test is not enough. That's yeah. not enough confirmation. Yeah. There's a reason why you could do 20 P stick tests and they tell you, you still need to go in and get a blood test and get a blood test. Yeah. I know this is going to sound crazy how you think you'll react is so different from how you actually react i thought i would like go crazy and cry or so i was like oddly calm i felt the same way even when we found out with dr d when she confirmed with the blood test same i was happy of course i was hearing it for the first time you were hearing it for the second time but i didn't cry either She's so I was mad. still just like in some, oh my gosh, this is happening, kind of shock, but the good kind. And then I said, we got to call mommy. Yeah. And mom's reaction. Before she even got on the FaceTime, I started crying. Like, and it sort of reminded me of when we first called her mm -hmm. and said, we have a boy and we have a girl from when we were in Charlotte yeah. coming back. It kind of reminded me of that. But when her face popped on, and she just saw your face. And I, said, I will Mom. never in my life forget her response and her reaction. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are you, mommy? She's pregnant. <laughs> Ever. I'll never forget it. She just started pounding, like pounding her chest. 
Like she couldn't get the, the words out, so she just moment to me. Yeah, to see my mom. Because if I'm being honest, we never had that reaction before. And it's uh, and when I tell you, it is so like tangible and tactile for me. Like yeah. I I can go there immediately because of her. You just you just realized it was hours and hours and days and weeks and months and years of prayer. Like when you know every day she would pray for four or five years straight, Jesus, please give my daughter a baby. That's all she wants. Mm -hmm. And every day she prayed. So her response and reaction was so like primal is the only way I could think. Like it was just like, she's very expressive and awesome and funny and whatever and, and extroverted, but I had never, that I'd she never responded that. a way that I'd, didn't I didn't expect, expect yeah, yeah. yeah. My sister and Jared are the godparents of the baby. She just went crazy. She was like, I'm shaking. First of all, she called. Hey, We're having Papa. a baby! <laughs> hey, congrats, congrats. Thank you. Wait! Claude, it's Wait. happening. We can't I'm see you. Scared. We can't see you, Claude. Why can't we see you? Wait, you? I don't know why. There we go. Do you oh, see wait. me? No. Are you in the dark or something? Oh my God, guys, I'm so happy. <laughs> Can you believe it? Two weeks he oh, has a heartbeat. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Oh my God, thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank that you, is your you, mother's God. daughter. She had been stalking me and Lana all day long. Like, imagine like 10 a.m. She's like, hey, do we know yet? Tw 11, hey, is any, hey let, hey, let me know. I've got my ringer on. She was just so anxious. <laughs> she calls just awaiting. And what did she say? She's like, I'm pacing back and forth. I don't know what to do. What's, have you heard anything? I said, Claude, you're going to know before me. Like, yeah. he's going to call her mom, you, then me. And then she was like, no, no. She's like, what if she's trying to do a surprise, a secret? I said, Claude, there's no surprise. No. No secret. Just, you know, wait for the phone call. Joke's on you. There was a whole surprise. Guys. Holding out on us. I thought we were You're the child's out. father. You should, you have the right to be. But even that, babe, like, I Baby, wanted it I, to be a special moment. I know why you did what you did. <laughs> Listen. Before he even called me to tell me the news, the surrogate had group chatted us. So I, as soon as I read the text message, that's right. Because I told Jackie at Dr. B's office, I said, Jackie, I don't care. I want to hear from Adrian. Like I want to hear from Adrian. Like I wanted, you know, to celebrate. We celebrated the other ones together. Yeah. Can I make a quick note here? Yeah. Because you kind of alluded to it in the last segment, but like the idea of pushing for something and it not working. You you mentioned that Claude was like maybe it was not supposed to happen that way because what if it endangered I didn't know life? that I had, I didn't know that my, that my heart was a concern. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, I, don't, I, I feel like God has given me the strength to walk through this because it's the only way I could laugh at this now. Like it's literally the only way, granted we are pregnant so that is a very happy thing. Mm -hmm. Crazy thing is, Jeannie Mai from The Real would ask me, she's like, hey, you really should share your story. Like, you know, why don't you talk about like your journey? Because she knew everything I had been through. Jeannie actually gave me my shots. At work. That created. Mm -hmm. my, yeah, that created my embryos. I, I felt like I couldn't talk about it when I'm going through it. If you have the strength to talk about it while you're in it, I applaud you That's and awesome. that is incredible and I'm grateful that you have the strength to do that. I could not. Yeah. I I could not have filmed this without having the hope of being pregnant. Like I I literally said I will share my story when I have some hope to share. And that when I tell my story that it it lets somebody know, listen, I've been through all of this and here we are today pregnant. God is good. God is real. Crazy, right? Thank you.